often a good score, as we know. Jim, an alternate shot. You know it well. Absolutely. Celine Boutier is here. Trip Eisenhower's with this group. Good looking shot right there. Wow, is that any good? Only three birdies today. That's a good chance for four. Left, but uh, I think this one's going in. I think you're right. They birdied two, three, and now seven. So they're three under. Good start for them. It's into three under par through seven. So have Full green light situation, Jim. Needs a spin. Oh. That's not her normal routine. Yeah, that's the result. Just never looked like she could commit to it, or never did. Yeah, about 12 feet, not what you would expect from 102 in the right in the fairway. But again, Jim, this club can fix all sorts of ails. Just and what the doctor ordered. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. You kind of feel like you're responsible, though. Like if you hit it over the back of the green, you feel like you have to make it up to your partner by making that putt. Yeah. And uh, on Friday night, early Saturday morning is when everything changed. Second shot for Boutier at 10. This is a team to watch, I dare say. And yeah, it is, it is, as Karen said, the, the problem is sometimes you just get so tentative because you don't want to leave that extra putt for your partner, but that's how you do it. There's no extra putt there. Sasso with a par save at nine, the birdie putt to get the thumbs up from Celine Boutier, her teammate. They're within two of the lead. It's alternate shot, day one of this team event. And 5.43. Yeah, important to get it in the fairway if you're if you're going to have a chance to get in there. The wind into out of the left ever so slightly. Not affecting that one, Jim. Never does with her ball. That is really good there. Lay it up. The whole location on the front portion. So, yeah, I love these these reachable par fours. That's a really good line. Trip, she launches it so high. I wondered if driver was too much for Yuka. That had to have gone right over the flag, wouldn't it? It did. From that did. angle? Yes, in this format. Here's Booty a second. Now that lie was just um, really, really grassy, a really thick lie. Houdier, a winner in Arizona. Previous players who put it from this spot. Moving to the right. Hmm. 
birdie distance, and Ryan paid it off. Boutier cleans up the par. Shrug at the shoulders. Do you think about Styles and Sasso, the powerful player, Boudier just steady as they come, mm -hmm. and perhaps no surprise that they're up there? No, not, not at all. And I, when you think about that team, too. So all right. Boudier now. Let's check out her shot with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Now it looks like she's got six iron. I think you know, Ryan just said Georgia probably hit seven. That's why she's short. She's over on that left side. Tells me she's maybe trying to get a little bit of a draw. Well, that tracer's got to be looking pretty good, Jim. I'd say a little draw. Well, that'll work. Good chance for birdie for both teams here. So now for birdie. Breaking to the right, Jim. And again, you know, her speed has been pretty good. Really flat putt, though, so shouldn't be an issue. Mm. It was on that one. They make and a chance to look at this powerful swing of young Yuka Sasso. Yeah, really solid ball striker week to week, Karen. You don't you don't have a U.S. Open uh, trophy in your trophy case if you're not a good ball striker. No, and uh, like I said on the on the previous tee, she just launches her tee ball so high. But it doesn't have any spin on it. That's what I really like about it. Just kind of like that one. Yep. Second shot for Celine Boutier at 14. 102 yards. Oh, oh boy. I just don't see coming up that far short. No, they're all trying to be so perfect. Landed. For Sasso at 14. It's the silly error, really. Makes up it with us. Uh, the reverse happened at nine, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sasso missed it with a wedge and made the par putt. And I think she's saying, okay, we're even. Chunk of change. 15. It's all about perspective, Grant. Yuka Sasso now, second shot. Well, that needs to get down. That's right. Oh, my. Yeah, it is. It will be on the up slope, but. It's quite a steep slope, that one, too, Jeff. Par as we go to 15. Yeah, third shot for Boudier. Yeah, Jim, this team's had a lot of wedges and it made, I know they hadn't made any bogeys, but my goodness, they're making it hard on themselves at times. Mm, they got some work to save par here. Pretty. Exactly. I mean, they're they're doing great, don't get me wrong, but they could be doing really, really good. Yeah, one was long, one was short, one was right, but there's a par. And they're getting away with it, so hats yeah. off to them. Yeah. They've been making those putts when, they, when they've had to. Yeah. Consistent all day, and, and now it seems to be blowing kind of steady for the last, I don't know, 25 minutes. I'd like to follow Ryan O'Toole's ball right down the right center of this, of this hole. Huh? Now that's even better than that. Mm-hmm. Put Celine in a great spot here. Hey, you can say that again. 162. Oh, boy. That is... Another really unforced error. Would it surprise you to hear that there have been two birdies at 16 today? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a long haul. It's a good, a tough one. Third shot at 16 for Sasso. Uh, if they can stay bogey free here. Wow. Oh, well, that was textbook. This isn't match play. If it were, that'd be con she really just caught it perfectly. This team have been scrambling up a storm. And I've realized that, wait a minute, I'm not the only one out here mm. playing. You're not on an island on your own. That is Boudier on the tee at 17. Do you feel that, Jim, when you played? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was the like the alternate shot. The, the, that was a little bit unnerving at first, but then once you get... Ah, 
I think we can. Yeah. He's a spin. Okay, that'll work. Good, good, good chance for birdie. Yeah, that. I want the green. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's proud. She's Are you happy. proud of me? She's she hit a green with a wedge. That's Are you proud? <laughs> Are you proud of me? She said. Everybody's proud of you. Skipping on oh, down this as well. No doubt about it. And you know, she's actually been partnered with Georgia Hall quite a mm -hmm. quite a few times. True. So it's probably quite strange for them to be playing this format not together. I think we're going to see that this fall, don't you, Karen? I think we're going to see that again for sure. <laughs> Got to try and dial this one in. Yes, it has, Karen. <laughs> this one's going to be pretty good, though. Mm, two in a row. Yeah. She smiles again. Very yeah. happy at her partner. <laughs> She's dialed in now she that they're done. I'm so surprised. Yeah. I hit another green. Yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be a putt for a 65. There you go. That looks good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they had fun. Yes, they did. Even when they uh, had the occasional errant wedge. That is a bogey-free 65. They're one back. 